Hey guys, Chamberlain 700 WHC guy. Um, as you all know, in the last video, I have a Sears 139.655000. Now let's look at the. Now let's look at something here. The three quarter with its original rail. And the sectional T rail, the chain is tight. Well, let's see here. First, I want to start off by um, showing you a few things before we start this. As you can see, this is a full chain drive. A re old style release rope and handle older style trolley and again like I mentioned before I have a 655000 now oh yeah you guys read the title correctly for your viewing pleasure today I have put my Sears garage door opener digital control model 139.655000 on the T-rail this thing is a puppy, let me tell you. Um, I need to actually do this, so give me a minute. Anyways, um, so yes, this is the Sears 139.655000. The manufacture date on this I actually figured out. September 26th of 1979. So this is uh, before they started adding in, um, oh God, this is before they started adding in their own radio controls into these units. So this is quite an interesting, and this is what we're going to be talking about and running today for your viewing pleasure today. So yeah, I got the case, the nice case, along with the original the rope, the handle, the rail, the trolley, chain, all came with this unit. And we will be running the three-quarter in this video as well. But our main focus today is the 655000. So, yeah. The reason why this one was pulled is due to a stripped, well, not almost, well, it's a kind of, it's a half, it's, it's a kind of a stripped V-belt. Um, it will kind of like, it kind of likes to get stuck sometimes, so I gotta help the chain. Um, but it mostly does that when it's closing, so I'm not really that too damn concerned, but, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run this today. Um, all I've got is just a simple screwdriver, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run it, um, with the screwdriver so here we go oh crap come on hang on this thing likes to be finicky okay i guess i gotta help it this time That thing is nice. All right, look, we'll see if it wants to go down. Um, it normally goes down okay, so I'm not really that concerned, but let's see. So yeah, it got stuck there a little bit, but other than that, it, it's a it's an okay machine. Um, if anyone, if any of you guys in the community know where I can get a replacement V belt for this, do me a favor and link and private message me because I really need a new V belt for this thing because I'm actually have a big plan for this unit coming soon, but I can't disclose it yet until I get a new V belt. So. Until then, this thing is going to be staying in the collection. Um, 
Matter of fact, you're even gonna you're gonna you guys will barely even see this unit on a rail. Um, the Craftsman though, you're gonna see that a lot. Um, I just gotta get a new board for it, and that thing is immediately going on our small door. So stay tuned for that thing because that'll go on our small door soon. But this thing, I gotta track down a V belt, which they're super hard to find. I found out. So until I can, can until I can track one down, this is actually gonna be going in my room on the shelf. So it will not be getting, the only other time that you're going to see this thing on my channel running, it is going to be just running it on my ceiling in the basement. And then as soon as that's done, it's coming down. And then whatever I have up there, which God, I can't remember, is going back up. So, and you know what? I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and why don't we run this one more time? I don't know if I'm going to risk popping the red button again, but we're going to try it anyway. Here we go. All right, we'll center her back down, and then that's going to be into the video. Oh, shoot, no, it's not. I got to start going around the craftsman. Do it! All right, let's, we'll send this down, then we're going to, then we're going to pause the camera, and I'm going to plug in the craftsman, and then we'll come back. So, here we go. You. Okay, we're going to pause the camera real quick and we're going to plug in the Craftsman and we'll be right back. Alright, Craftsman's plugged in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a run with the universal button like it, that, that I had last time for it. So here we go. And, it, and I did not know that. Um, thank God I cut that on video. Alright. We'll send it down. And we'll run it one more time. All right, we'll send her down, and then that's really going to be the end of the video. So here we go. Alright, um, tomorrow's video, um, well, tomorrow we will be back at my house, um, and you guys will see the seer, the Sears and the Craftsman on the ceiling. They will be both shot in separate videos, but they will both be, there will be two videos tomorrow, um, as a makeup for, I don't know what, but... I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to cut it from here. So tomorrow's video, like I said, stay tuned for the Craftsman and the Sears. Um, I'm most likely going to be putting up the Sears first because, well, actually, no, take that back. Craftsman's going to go up first because that I really don't want to leave on the ceiling. What I really want to leave on the ceiling probably for the rest of the year is the Sears. So, stay tuned for that. Y'all have a good one. Oh, shoot. One more thing. Um, re Reminder for all of my viewers, 7 o'clock, December 25th, will be the installation video of the 858070. So, you won't want to miss that. All right. Y'all have a good one. I got to get these things disassembled so I can take them home. See y'all tomorrow.